Marcus Allen, give us some upbeat news here. Yeah, you may have heard the entourage come in. He's one of my favorite comedians, <laughs> one of my favorite actors. He is a good guy, and he and I were born in the same year as J.B. Smoove, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause for J.B. Smoove! Hey. Hey, can I just tell you, full transparency? Mm. I said, look, when he gets here, do you guys mind giving him a quick standing ovation? You did none of that! J.B. Smoove, everybody! Hey. All right, how are you? I love love, man. One thing about me, I'm a, I'm a love guy. I love showing love to people, you know? All the amazing staff here, man. You and this jacket. The oh, first, please. What did I say to you when I, what did I first say to you when I saw you? The first thing you said to me like that is, can I have that jacket? That jacket's sweet, man. All right, you this is the kind of jacket you do not take it off in a restaurant and put it on the back of the chair. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? This, right. this comes missing. You know what? It's sweet. It's, and it pops your face. Normally, I'd be worried that the comedian's not hawking his show, but your show at the Punchline is sold out. You can't even it's get sold, tickets baby. to the Punchline. You know what? The shows are sold out. All my fans out there and all the folks who, are, who always frequent the... The, the Sacramento punchline, you blew it. I had to be <laughs> blunt so early in the morning. A little early in the morning, but you blew it. You know, I posted on my on my Instagram, my Twitter. What's your handle? Throw Facebook. your handle. Oh, snap. J.B. Smooth. That's O-H-S-N-A-P. J-B-S-M-O-O-V-E. Oh, snap. I wanted J.B. Smooth. to talk to you at the uh, Critics' Choice Awards. <clears throat> we sat back to back. I was at the Shit's Creek table. That's S-C-H-I-T-T. -T, and yeah. you were there representing your show. I was out there um, at Critics' Choice. I ended up... Uh, I ended up representing my show, HBO, of course, Kirby Enthusiasm, but also was a presenter that night also. So That's right. It was an amazing night. Myself and Lisey Nash went up there, and we uh, we presented. Okay, we're going to go. Best, for, actually, for best uh, 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 special. Lightning round, because special. you've yeah. lived the life I wanted to live. I'm going to throw something out. Just give me one sentence about it. Let's go. Let's go. What, uh, 20, 30 years from now, what are you going to remember about Kirby Enthusiasm? Best day on the set. Oh, no script. I just love it, man. I'm going to remember one of my favorite scenes. Which is, uh, I don't want to say it on camera, but you know. Right. You got we to, all know what it is. Morning TV friendly, no. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> you, you got to play a voice on The Simpsons. Who gets to do that? Uh, who gets to do that? I just did something on American Dad two days ago. So I'm, I'm boogieing. I'm a voice on a lot of different characters. I love it. You've yes, been indeed. in Academy Award winning films and movies like Pootie Tape. What's Sada the one that stands out? Oh, the number one movie in my in, in my world is always going to be Pootie Tape. Sada Tape, my main Damien. There you go. Oh. I still got a VHS collected dust. <laughs> JB Smooth, you can't see him at the punchline, but that just shows you what kind of acts they bring to town. Yeah, man. Uh, you're a nice guy, Always, good guy. Man. Follow me, Marcus Allen Show. Hey. He's gonna stick around on Facebook for a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna switch up a jacket and the sweater. Watch, when you come, will you see him? You're gonna see me tonight wearing this jacket. He's gonna have my sweater when I go home in. Back to you. <laughs>